Okay, so um, there's some news came out this week about Kathleen Kennedy. You know, we talked um, a little bit about her. Head um, of Lucasfilms. Head of Lucasfilms. Uh, all the last, uh, well, I won't say all of them, but a bunch of Star Wars fans was ranting and raving because they didn't like The Last Jedi. And they kind of they kind of were uh, saying that um, Solo didn't do as well because... Of her. Well, because people were so upset about The Last Jedi, they didn't want to see Solo, which I kind of dispute. I felt, I think we discussed that, that a lot of it had to do with it being time so close to Deadpool 2 and the fact that they went over budget. They, you know, they went over budget for like $75 million. And coincidentally... This movie is set to lose about eighty million. So you see what I'm saying. So I don't know necessarily if it had to do with fans, so-called boycotting Pushing the movie, back, right? But so a lot of these YouTubers that follow Star Wars were predicting that she was going because her contract was up in September, and all these Star Wars Star Wars fanboys and girls were predicting that. Oh boy, she's gonna be out. They're gonna yeah, fire her. They don't get rid of her for star for for solo, which I thought was weird because if you look at some of the other movies, they made a lot of money. So anyway, um, that did not happen. In fact, she got her contract extended for three years, and there was a lot of YouTubers upset. But I kind of compiled like a, a three YouTubers talking about, it, and I'll just I'll go ahead and play this. Uh, video real quick. See what this woman has been a disaster as the, the president of Lucasfilm. She's a disaster. So moving forward, what does this mean for the future of Star Wars? Is Star Wars dead? Well, the, the future of Disney Star Wars is in major trouble. So there are still elements of Star Wars that I am looking forward to, but it's it's that dark cloud that hangs over it because even with those projects that I'm, I'm excited to see how they play out, I still have to worry about the identity politics aspect and the, and the agenda-driven uh, narrative that they're going to be pushing under Kathleen Kennedy's watch. Now, there's, I said yesterday's video, yes, yeah, she could be micromanaged. They could be sitting down with her and go, Kathy, this is a big problem. we got to fix this. But I don't really think they did that. I really don't. I, I think that their self-awareness is so far off the charts. I don't think they did that. I think they just basically seem to think that it's a small minority of angry white men that don't like these movies. And again, if that's what you want to believe, you can believe whatever you want. The truth is not on your side. Okay, so he brings up a valid point. There's been some indications um, from some of the publications I read that some of, some of this boycott stuff has been hyped up. He's saying it's not just white males, and 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 I can concur. I, I've watched a lot of videos about this, and there's a lot of female fans, fans that, fans that are, are are. I'm about to play one. This guy's name is Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, but um, he says he brings up a good point. Um, it's not just white males that are mad about it, but I do think the outright has kind of hyped this up because there was a, there was an article that's been going around. This guy was studying some of the traffic um, that the boycott has generated on Twitter and a lot of it's bots. And I say, and he of course denies that that's credible. And a lot of other, these Star Wars fans deny that it's credible. But if you look at some of the outrights tactics, First of all, they like to latch on issues that have to do with gender and race. And this has both. This has, because a, a lot of these Star Wars alt-right people have been mad that you have a, a female protagonist, Rey, and then you got this black character, Finn. They've been up in arms about that. So they've been kind of, and one of the tactics they use on Twitter is to use bots to hype up things. Because if you look at, this is, you heard this guy named Mike Servonovich. He's this alt right guy. He got this. I guess no. <laughs> no. <laughs> he, sorry, I'm like a deer in headlights over here. He got this. He got this uh, MSNBC uh, guy uh, columnist named um, Sam Cedar fired, but he got reinstated later because they found out 
that he tried to create this fake outrage about this tweet he this guy made and he used bots to do it. So then now they're saying the same thing is happening in the Star Wars community with this issue, and I believe him. But like I said, he is right. It's not just white males there. I'm gonna play this next. Uh, but all these people I'm I'm playing are YouTubers. Okay. This next girl's her name is Anna. She's the she's uh runs a YouTube channel called that Star Wars girl. And I hate that I have to do this, but I'm gonna play the woman card real fast to explain why this is a double standard. Because if the guy said anything, again they'd get labeled as sexist. But because I'm saying it again, I hate to play this card, but. I'm going to do it and I'm going to call them out on their bullshit because it is. And if a man were in the position that Kathleen Kennedy were in and they spent $4 billion on a product that should have made back that investment within the first year or two, especially after the first movie was made, not only should they have made the money back, but they should also have been making a profit. But no, she decided to market to the wrong audience, she decided to say, you know, a big F you to the original audience and take what we loved and crumble it and say, if you don't like the fact that I'm crumbling something that you love in your face, you're a sexist, misogynistic man, baby, and anyone else that has opinion doesn't exist and we're going to discredit them and say that they're lying or say that they're being forced to say these type of things and not actually acknowledging people that have differing opinions that don't fit into their narrative agenda. So... Kathleen Kennedy made some very big mistakes. She made mistakes on Ryan Johnson. She made mistakes on, you know, pissing off the original fan base, the people that she should have been getting money from, but the fact that she pissed us off, she's not getting the money. So she is losing money for this company that should have been a complete gold mine and just a landslide for success, but she didn't and she failed and because she's a woman and she has the right connections and she knows all these people in Hollywood everyone is afraid to touch her because they are afraid of getting the backlash they are afraid of them it turning around on them and them getting called the misogynistic sexist man babies okay let me just say that's bullshit everything she just said okay the first thing she says they're losing money on Star, they they paid George Lucas four billion for the Star Wars franchise. Okay, since that time, Force Awakens made two billion dollars. Okay, so they're pretty much halfway there just with one movie. Right. Last Jedi, one point three billion. Rogue One made a billion dollars. Did you know? Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. I I just looked it up. Okay. But Solo projected to lose $80 million. Even with Solo losing money, she has still made $4.2 billion off of this franchise. And the third movie hasn't even come out yet. So I don't know where she gets this, this notion that Kathleen Kennedy is, is uh, losing the money. Kathleen Kennedy will be... Um, but it's not true. I mean, I don't... And all these YouTubers are saying that same thing. She's losing money. She has not lost them any money. In fact, they've done very, very well. I mean, Rogue One making a billion dollars. I mean, I mean, I don't see how. It sounds like a, a successful business model to me. Right. So I don't. They and and, and this crap she's saying about her only because. keeping her job because she's a woman. That's ludicrous. If a if a male executive had made $4.2 billion on four movies. And they still got several. And they, and they still haven't even c completed the third movie. You think they would get kicked out on their ass? I don't, these people, they hate Last Jedi so much that they, they've just gone against reason. So I, I, I don't, I don't see where she could, but you know, you, it's funny cause there's a, this is a woman saying, that the only reason she's keeping her job because she's a woman. I mean, this just blows my mind that, that she would say that because it, it, it doesn't make any sense if you look at the facts. But this last guy, uh, I don't even know this guy's name because uh, I watched the video and he never says his name, which is why we need to <laughs> announce who we are when we do our videos. But anyway, right. um, 
he's some British guy, but the the YouTube channel is SC Reviews. Let's see what he says. Sticking around for another three years. Her contract has been extended for three more years. Ha oh, I mean I gotta say fuck you to Bob Iger. That's right. Are you hearing me? I hope you hear me. I hope you're watching this. Because you're a bum, right? I don't know why they're protecting Kathleen Kennedy. It doesn't make any sense to me why they wouldn't just... I mean, she should be hung out to dry because she's the one in charge. And I'm sure this will inspire lots of people to boycott episode 9. Uh, even more people to boycott episode 9. And really just uh, take a break from Star Wars altogether. I think that's what's going to happen. So if they want to lose money, all good. I'm sure this will help them in that in that uh, task. Okay. I can't not stop looking at the posters behind him that are <laughs> such crappily hung. <laughs> I can't focus on that guy. Hey, that guy has like 80,000. Uh, no, I don't know about him. He's probably got a bunch though. He's got more than we do. <laughs> he, he, uh, he got that close up of his head. His head's this big on the TV. But this guy has eight, eight, 80,000 subscribers and he's in a hotel it, room. It's yeah. Well, he, he, <laughs> he's on the, he's actually visiting the set of some fan, um, star Wars film they're making, but, but okay. This last guy, he says he, he pretty much blesses Bob Iger. Bob Iger is the head of Disney. He's pretty much saying Bob Iger is not listening to the fans and he's stupid and blah, blah, blah. Do these people realize that Bob Iger, the head of Disney's, does not sit around all day watching YouTube videos? Do they really think he does that? <laughs> does that make any sense? Yeah. I mean, the amount of projects that Disney has going on at one right. time. Right. He has no time to, to be watching, going on Star YouTube. Star Wars is a blip on his radar. Right. They, they own Marvel, too. Right. And Marvel yeah. is, I mean... Cranking them out. They're not going to hurt anybody with a boycott. Even, okay, let, let's just assume, let's assume they're right about this boycott and it cost Solo money. Solo still made $400 million. Yep. Okay. So assuming the next film doesn't go over budget, they're still set to make some bank. I'm, I'm assuming. And you're talking about a standalone film. Those, the standalone films aren't supposed to make as much money as the, the regular franchise. So you got, you got a, I feel like they think they're a big majority of the people going to see these movies. A lot of people going to see Star Wars movie aren't like they're casual fans. They're not these diehard fans like these guys are. Well, you know, they want to think that they represent the majority of people out there because they feel that their opinion is the only right one. And, mm -hmm. you know, that works on both sides of the fence. Everybody thinks they're right. Yeah. And these guys just have a platform. But, but see, they're they, they, an audience. I, th I don't think they understand exactly how Hollywood works. If Bob Iger looked at anything, he's looking at his bottom his, line. his spreadsheet, and the spreadsheet says this woman made him four point two billion dollars. Yeah, he already got his investment back for what he, he right. Uh, so there is nothing about Kathleen Kennedy that would paint her, uh, put a mark, uh, uh, a target on her. I, I mean, hey, there's and been a lot of good movies that lost money. There's been a lot of them. And, and see, you gotta understand. I don't even like. Um, the new Star Wars film. I didn't, but, but see, my th here's my thing. My thing is, why are they latching on to this one person? They say they liked J.J. Abrams, okay, that he did such a good job with Force Awakens. I, 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 I didn't like Force Awakens. I thought it was, I thought it was worse than Last Jedi. I, I, in fact, I enjoyed The Last Jedi a little bit more than The Force Awakens. I did too. I would agree with that. Okay. But see, these people, they're, they're so grateful for what J.J. Abrams did with the movie, but she hired J.J. Abrams too. Okay. They don't like Ryan Johnson. Fine. But they got to take the good with the bad. If you don't like her because she, she hired Ryan Johnson, you know, you can't, you got to realize that 
she hired the director you actually like too. And, and and while we're on the subject of good Star Wars film, there, to, in my estimation, there's only been three. The, the, the original first. three. Those prequels were crap. Yeah, they don't they don't talk about George Lucas. They don't bash George Lucas. You know, those those movies were crap. And we had to watch them twice. Yeah, and it was bad <laughs> acting. You know, at least these movies are well acted. If you want to say anything about the plot or whatever, you can't say that they're not well acted. Right, absolutely. But the the prequels had terrible acting. From Natalie Portman to Hayden Christensen, just terrible acting. Hey, Samuel L. was on there now. Samuel L. Jackson was okay. <laughs> he, he was good. I'm, I'm talking about everybody else, though, was terrible in those films. So, I mean... And, I mean, what do you do when you're trying to take a franchise to the next level? I mean, the... It's a gamble for whoever's at the helm of it. Well, they're mad about Ryan Johnson, and they feel like she should have known better than to hire him. But they, they, I think they forget. Ryan Johnson did Looper. Have you seen Looper? Oh, yeah. That was a very good science fiction time travel movie. Right. With starring Bruce Willis. Yeah. So there was no reason for her to think that he would not have been a good director. I mean, the movie was well directed. Don't get me wrong. But there's no reason for her to think that he was going to turn in something that the fans didn't like. And she's well, not a writer. Whatever whatever she is, she, she's a very successful producer. And George Lucas is not involved anymore at all, right? Right. See, and he, there, right he, there is... He handpicked Kathleen Kennedy to head Lucasfilm. He, he's the one that recommended him. But he, he, he was the originator of the Star Wars story. So if you don't have the guy who started the whole thing involved in it, how are you going to reach that um, vision? I mean, honestly. Because yeah. you have different people with different... Even if you tell them the same story, they're going to have different visions mm -hmm. you know, of where that story's going. So the original fans, the fanboys, the hardcore Star Wars people, they're wanting somebody else to have George Lucas's vision, and it's not going to happen. Yeah. So, you know, you got to take it for what it is, and I'm sure that he had to approve the where, where the story was going before he signed the paperwork. No, he, he actually... Um, did a treatment for for the new franchise for the new trilogy, and they just threw it out. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well, I didn't know that because he was mad about it. He he said something about uh, feeling like he had sold the franchise to white slavers because they threw out his treatment. But the point is, he he was. I don't think by the time he saw it, he wasn't relevant anyway. He because he had turned in three horrible movies. I I, I haven't. I haven't watched those prequel movies in probably a decade. If they come in on, if they're on television, I don't. You know, sometimes you stop and watch a film, even if you're not looking to to watch that particular film. Right. I don't stop and watch that. It's, it's just so, and and the and the CGI is so dated compared I, I to what agree. they do now. I mean, even compared to the original three, the the wizardry of that of the special effects in those movies. Or way beyond their time, yeah. and then he gets better technology and does an even worse job. So yeah, yeah. I, I, I just don't. It just annoys me. And if you if you do a search on Kathleen Kennedy, you will get you you will get a hundred videos talking about how bad she is. Well, all the haters <laughs> she can you know just kiss her butt while she sits in her big mansion counting her money. Yeah, and. She, they're not, they're not affecting her. She I'm just, just got a three, <laughs> three more year deal. Right. So, but I, I'm really curious what's going to happen with this next deal. I'm, Unless she I'm gets caught up in the gonna... Me Too movement. <laughs> <laughs> That's about the only way so, she could go down. <laughs> yeah. Steven yeah, Spielberg comes out. He, she, t she touched me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She gave me cold soup. Cause you know, he was, easy. she was Steven Spielberg's producer. I mean, she produced back to the, and Robert Zemeckis, coincidentally, I think. She did Back to the Future, I think, you know, and Jurassic Park and she E.T. got a resume. I mean, I mean, the woman has, the one thing that the girl was talking about, about her connection, she does have some connection. I mean, 
she did get Ron Howard to come in at the last minute to, to finish solo. She, so she has the connections. But I keep I forgetting that he was involved in the ending of that because yeah. they did fire the director, you know. If, and it, that's the one criticism they have of her is that she's hired directors, a lot of directors that she ended up having to fire, like Colin Trevorrow, the guy that did um, Jurassic World. He was supposed to do episode nine, and she fired him. Before he ever got started. Yeah, well, in the pre-production, because she didn't like what what he the idea. The way he was, the direction he was going. Yeah, so yeah. She, that's why they brought back J.J. Andrews, and then that Gareth, I guess I think his name Gareth Edwards, who who did Rogue One. Um, she didn't like his finished film, and brought in. A, I forgot the director. They brought in another director to reshoot. Yeah, so and she we had does, talked about bringing a director in to fix somebody else's mess is never a, a recipe but, for success. Yeah, but Rogue One did pretty well. Um, but I don't know what they I don't know what they reshot. You know, in Solo they reshot seventy percent. Yeah, I heard that. So yeah, I think we discussed that. Movie that movie had to be in a turd before Ron Howard came. <laughs> I would love to see that version, but I, I just. It's so, uh, these people are just going so crazy over Star Wars. And this is like, Star Wars Day is done. I'm still going to see the last movie. Don't get me wrong. But, I mean, move on, guys. I mean, there are other franchises out there. Watch something else. There's plenty of stuff yeah. out there. I mean, no one has brought out That's, a science fiction um, franchise to, to rival Star Wars. But I, it, it'll I happen. I want to see um, a new Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> that uh, well, that was one of the greatest movies of all time. Oh, uh, you think so? And I think so, man, because it was just so ridiculous. It was ridiculous, but it was it was well made, and <laughs> um, and the guy who was starting it was the he was on Black Panther. Morgan uh, Martin Freeman. No, 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 is that his name? Yeah. Martin Freeman, He's the English Mor- guy? Morgan Freeman's uh, long lost brother. <laughs> <laughs> now, his name is his Martin little, Freeman. His little white brother. <laughs> But um, I like him, though. And yeah. I, I, he was on, I think... Uh, he was in The Hobbit. And wasn't he on He's that? on Sherlock. On Sherlock, the, that's yeah, what it was. Yeah. He's been in a lot of stuff. He's in oh, everything. he's been in a lot of stuff. He, yeah. was in Cap- he was in Civil War. Yeah, and I like him, though. I, was I, it Civil War? No, no, no. He was in... Uh, one of them. Um, the Winter Soldier. The Winter Soldier, yeah. But, yeah, um, I think Kathleen Kennedy will be just fine. Yeah. And uh, if you don't like it, don't see it. Yeah. Just, you know. Yeah, but I don't, like I said, I don't the, think it's going to. Despite what you guys think, you um, fanboys and girls, the, 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 uh, it doesn't belong to you. Yeah. You know, you've just uh, been able to be a part of it. And it belongs to who owns it. And they can do what they want to. And they can. You know they can't do any better. Well, maybe they could do a little bit better, but you know they. I think they're the big thing people raised against was uh, Ray not being a Skywalker. They wanted her to be a Skywalker, and I thought they were going that direction too. But that's uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping. Why? For why? Thing. Why go in a direction that everyone's expecting? I mean, that's been done before. You know they did that with. Dark Vader being and with the vastness of the multiverse or whatever it is of the Star yeah, Wars, yeah, you're gonna have a, just another Skywalker. Yeah, one family is all that's producing right. the exactly. saviors. Exactly, that's probably what Ryan Johnson was thinking. Why can't she just be a nobody? What's what's wrong with that? That means anybody yeah. can be a Jedi. Yeah, anybody can, you know, dig deep and find it in themselves to save the universe. Yeah, so that's yeah. what I think he was going for. But like I said. I, I could take her to leave it, you know. It's not bothering me. I, I promise you, her my, her name doesn't cross my mind before I go to sleep at night. So, <laughs> uh, her keeping or losing her job doesn't matter to me. Yeah, but that's it. I just want. I, I just thought this this ongoing controversy was just interesting, and that how yeah. people can be so convinced in their mind that something is going to happen, and then it doesn't happen. They just can't believe. How come? How come no one's listening to us? 
Bob Iger does not watch YouTube videos. I guarantee you he doesn't watch YouTube videos. I guarantee you he hasn't watched all the movies that his company's made. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee Kevin you. Kevin Kitty probably doesn't watch that YouTube. Would all he, that's all he would ever do is watch <laughs> movies. These people, they don't care. They, they care about money. It's Hollywood. If the movie's making money, they don't care about some, some fans shouting in the corner. I mean, it's sad, but, but true. I mean, it would be interesting if you guys would uh, comment down below um, how, how um, Kathleen Kennedy's uh, firing or not firing has affected They won't your see life. this video, but, <laughs> and, and they might bring down those all right people on us. And I don't, I don't, want, to, uh, I don't want to deal with those guys. Those guys are nuts. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, you guys have a good one, and we'll see you on the next video. <laughs>